and welcome to another episode of Cooking at Home with Carolyn. I have today a wonderful recipe for my vegetarians. This recipe is spring rolls and actually they're just chock full of fresh vegetables and flavor that you'll be able to just wrap up in a nice spring roll wrap and then we're going to have some sauce to go with them. Our dipping sauce is a ginger sesame sauce. So let's get going on that first so it can chill while we're making our wraps. Okay, so what I have over here right now is some hoisin sauce. And hoisin sauce is basically like an Asian barbecue sauce. And this is actually good on its own, just by itself. But what you can do is kick it up, add some more flavor. And remember, when you're making sauces or when you're cooking, period, you always want to build layers of flavor. So whenever you get the chance to add more flavor, take it. So I'm going to take this already decent hoisin sauce and add some fresh grated ginger to it. Because remember, it's ginger sesame sauce. So... I'm going to add quite a bit of grated ginger. And let me show you really quick because it, it takes a minute. This is the fresh ginger. The ginger comes like this at the grocery store. And this is, I just cut it down so you can see it. It comes, it looks like a root. And you just cut it down and you can trim it. Let me get Okay, so I'm just going to shave some of the skin off the ginger so you can see it. Okay. And ginger, you know, I've been, I've, I've loved ginger actually. Restaurants like I'm Japanese, the, uh, when I go to have sushi. And I'm one of those people that ask for extra ginger. So this is what it looks like when you actually just shave it. Just cut it open there so you can see it. Then you can take your microplane, okay, or fine grater. And these are really fine. And you can get it to this consistency where it's really fine. And the finer you grade ginger, the more flavor that comes, it comes out of it. So it's really good if you can get it really fine. So let's just put that to the side because I've already done that. Okay. Then next we're going to add some sesame, some toasted sesame oil. Toasted sesame oil goes a long way, so you don't need a lot of it in um, this sauce. Trust me, the little bit we're going to put in there is going to flavor it big time. So never overdo it with the sesame oil because it's really intense. Okay. Next, I have some sambal or some chili paste, some Asian chili paste, which is excellent. This is what's going to add some spice to it. Now, ease this in. If you're sensitive to spice, just ease it in a little bit at a, at a time. That way you can decide for yourself how intense you want the heat to be. And then, just for some appearance and just to remind you and your guests or your family that it's a sesame ginger sauce, we're going to add some toasted sesame seeds, okay? All right. Oh, I almost forgot my rice vinegar. Rice vinegar, we need to add a little bit of acidity to it. Just a little bit. Well, I can smell that sesame oil already. Came right up. Just add a little bit of rice vinegar to it. And it's going to give that, um, that acidity that you're looking for in this. Because right now it's rather sweet with the hoisin sauce. So I'm just going to add a little bit of rice vinegar. Okay. You have all those wonderful Asian flavors that are going to sit together. And they're going to marry. Can you get a good shot of that? Look at that. Now that's a sesame ginger sauce. And that ginger is going to burst and it's going to bloom in this sauce. It's going to be so good by the time you're ready to dip your spring rolls in. Okay, so what I did was I have a package of the spring roll wraps. And they're basically just rice paper. And see how kind of, they're a little bit um, flimsy. But when, once we put them in some warm water and read the directions um, to the package that you buy, and it'll say, my, it'll probably say dip them in some warm water for about 15 to 20 seconds, somewhere along those lines. But just remember when you're dipping them, you don't want to take them too far because then they'll tear a little bit more easier and you don't want that. You want them to be able to be rolled easily. Okay, now to this, let me take my lid off my Tupperware. Y'all know how I love my Tupperware. What I've already done I have a, a damp towel over some rice noodles that I just boiled um, earlier. They're nice and cool. And to keep them from sticking to each other, I put a little bit of um, olive oil in them just so they wouldn't stick and I'll be able to put them in my rolls, in my wraps, my um, spring rolls. That's what we call them, spring rolls. And then I have some julienne vegetables. Now I have some zucchini here that I just julienne. When you say julienne or when you hear that term, it just means very thinly sliced, okay? I have some bamboo shoots, I have some shaved carrots, and I just did that with a vegetable peeler over the carrot. You know how you would shave it to actually clean it? Keep doing that and you can get some nice 
shaving, some really thin uh, carrots. Then I have some shiitake mushrooms that I sauteed in a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper just for like three or four minutes, just to give them some more flavor. And then I have a mixture here of bok choy and Napa cabbage. And then I have over here some cut English cucumbers. And I use English cucumbers because they have very few seeds and they won't have as much water and mess up your, your spring rolls. And then of course over here I have some bean sprouts for those of you who like those, okay? So let's take our first spring roll wrap. And I'm gonna dip it over here, let me show you. I'm gonna dip it in this warm water that I have. Okay, and you'll see already, it's starting to give a little bit. And actually you could just let it soak in here for a minute and then pull it out. Just a few seconds. Don't walk away, this is not something we can walk away from. You have to stay here with this particular item, okay? See, it's starting to just dip it a little bit more. And then I'm going to have to uh, flatten it out on a um, flat surface so we can roll. This one is ready. All right. Lay it flat. And one thing about this, <laughs> when I was doing this before, make sure you use it on a colored surface so you can find it. Don't do these on a white plate because once you wet them, you can't see them. <laughs> All right, so my first one, I also have some mint here and mint just adds a lot of flavor when you have fresh vegetables here. So I'm gonna have, just lay it um, on the back of the paper, okay? Towards the back, and you'll see how we roll it. I'm gonna have a little bit of rice noodles right across here. Let's add some carrot, okay? little shiitake mushroom and if you don't like the mushrooms by all means leave them out use some of your other favorite vegetables in here now for my meat eaters my carnivores you can totally add some um, shrimp just boil some shrimp really quickly and then you can add that right on top of here and roll them right up okay remember you kind of have to work kind of fast with these because they will tend to dry out like this one is trying to do on me, but I'm going to win this battle. So I'm just going to fold over each side, bring them together, and then I'm just going to wrap them. Roll it up, push it under. There we go. And that is your spring roll. It's like having a salad all in a nice pocket. see this and I'm just gonna roll tuck it in roll it's okay if some of us stick it sticking out let's cut this one so you can see what it looks like inside how's about that got my shiitake mushrooms I got some zucchini some cucumbers the carrots are right there there is my rice noodles Man, let me get this dipping sauce so I can taste this. Let's put the sauce, our ginger sesame sauce, right in the middle of our dish here. And this is good if, you, if you're if you just for dinner for yourself or if you're going to have people coming over. Super Bowl is coming up. This is great. If you know you're going to have some vegetarians coming over, they'll appreciate that you went through this little bit of work. It's not that much work. And I rolled over here one for the chef. Just taste it. It smells so good. Mm. Even I can appreciate that. And I love meat too. But I can go vegetarian anytime. <laughs> this is so good. Make sure you give it a try. Try something vegetarian. I'll see you right here next time on Cooking at Home with Caroline.